Hey, thank you for joining me today. This is Pastor Loff, and uh, we are picking up in Psalm chapter 16. I read it yesterday. Um, got hung up on the first two verses. Let me read it again. For preserve me, O God, for in you I put my trust. O my soul, you have said to the Lord, you are my Lord. My goodness is nothing apart from you. As for the saints who are on the earth, they are the excellent ones in whom is all my delight. Their sorrows shall be multiplied who hasten after another God. Their drink offerings of blood I will not offer, nor take up their names on my lips. O Lord, you are the portion of my inheritance and my cup. You maintain my lot. The lions have fallen to me in pleasant places. Yes, I have a good inheritance. I will bless the Lord who has given me counsel. My heart also instructs me in the night seasons. I have set the Lord always before me because he is at my right hand. I shall not be moved. Therefore, my heart is glad and my glory rejoices. My flesh also will rest in hope. For you will not leave my soul in Sheol, nor will you allow your Holy One to see corruption. You will show me the path of life, and your presence is fullness of joy. At your right hand are pleasures forevermore. Let's take a look at verse 3. <clears throat> As for the saints who are on the earth, they are the excellent ones in whom is all my delight. Um, I'm reading the words of David here, and I believe, I mean, David sometimes uh, moves into speaking for the Lord uh, prophetically, but in this I believe he's speaking for himself, and he's saying, as for the saints who are on the earth, they are the excellent ones in whom is all my delight. David is simply saying this, if you're going to serve the Lord, if you're a righteous person, I take delight in you. I like you. I, I, I want to hang with you. You're you know, we're on the same page. We're pursuing the same Lord. We're serving the same God. Uh, listen, there is community in the Christian faith. And if you're not part of a Christian community, you're actually not only failing yourself, but you're failing other people. You need to be part of the Christian community. <clears throat> um, being around Christian people, if you are a born-again believer, should be something you should delight in and desire. I know we have lots of people who think, I have my own church, I don't ever go, but God meets me in my bedroom. And, you know, you're I'm trying to be nice here. You're stupid. I'm trying to be nice, but it's hard. Come on. You need other people. Christians do not exist as islands very well. Sure, you, if you're cast away to an island, okay, that's one thing. But if you don't have to be, you need to take delight in other people and be with other people and, and serve the Lord with other people. <laughs> okay, I said the S word, stupid. I'm sorry. But, but in reality, get a grip and, 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 and get past this I'm a loner mentality. You need people. You need pastors. We all need pastors, apostles, prophets. Teachers, we, we need evangelists. We need people to pour into us. We need to be part of a, of a body. Uh, I know that I'm taking off way off on, on verse 3, but the fact is we do need other people. So look for, search for people, search for a home church, even if you can't agree with everything. I mean, when has that happened anyway, that you've agreed with a person on everything? It, it, even your best friends, you can't. I mean, find a place. Be part of the body. Take delight in people who are like you. Serve the Lord with others. Verse 4, their souls will, shall be multiplied who hasten after another God. Their drink offerings of blood I will not offer, nor take up their names on my lips. Listen, um, he flips and he says, but those who are searching after other gods are going to be sadly, sadly mistaken. Those who run after other gods, what a mistake. He says, and those other gods, their names and who they are, I'm not going to, their drink offerings of blood, I'm not going to offer it. I'm not going to be like other people. And number two, I'm not even going to talk about them. I don't even want to let the lips that my God in heaven has created and sanctified, I'm not even going to start mentioning their names. Now, I know that we do, and I know that we have, and I know that we talk, when we talk about Buddhism or, or things of that nature, we do mention those other gods. 
But I have to believe that David was saying, listen, my lips are the Lord's lips. I want to speak of only things that honor him. And false gods do not honor him. So therefore, I'm going to shut my mouth when it comes to taking up their name. So, you know, I, I, I know that's something that we do, and but maybe we need to reconsider that. Maybe we need to reconsider that. My lips, if you're born again, your lips are God's lips. Well, your lips are his lips anyway. You might as well face it. But if you're born again, they're truly his lips. They're redeemed lips. So maybe we need to be careful that we don't take up the name of other gods and we need to say things. We need to watch our words. They're powerful. Um, we might look into this a little bit tomorrow. Anyway, this is uh, Pastor Lot. Thanks for joining me today. God bless you. And I'll try not to say the S word too many times. Anyway, take care. Bye-bye.